Elite Facts presents Eight Incredible Footballers Who've Not Won a World Cup. Now, please keep in mind that this list is dedicated to retired football players, so you won't be seeing the likes of Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo on this list. For all we know, one of them could potentially win the World Cup in 2018, or even a little bit further down the line, as both players are still young and active. This list was a difficult one to narrow down, considering how many fantastic players there are who never got their moment in the spotlight on that main stage. This list is dedicated to those players. Here's our eight incredible footballers who've never won a World Cup. Eight. Michel Platini. Michel Platini was a French attacking midfielder who won three consecutive Ballon d'Or awards from 1983 to 1985, and in 1999, FIFA's panel of experts declared him the seventh best player of the 20th century. That's quite an achievement considering all the fantastic players who graced the football pitch during the 1900s. In club soccer, he won two Serie A championships and one Ligue 1 championship to go along with a European Cup Champions League win, scoring 224 goals in 432 appearances. And in international soccer, Platini helped lead the French squad to the European Championship in 1984, which made them prohibitive favorites heading into the 1986 World Cup. Unfortunately, France lost in the semifinals to tournament runners-up West Germany before beating Belgium to take third place in the tournament. It's a damn shame, really. 7. Johan Cruyff, Netherlands As you may have probably guessed, and let's be honest, it shouldn't come as a surprise, Pele is number one on FIFA's all-century team, and he definitely won the World Cup, so we won't be going into detail on his decorated career. Not only did he win a World Cup, but so did number three, Franz Beckenbauer, and number five, Diego Maradona. Though really, Maradona should be ranked higher than number five if we're being perfectly honest. So that begs the question, who was number two? That would be this guy, Holland's very own Johan Cruyff. The attacking midfielder was the biggest star of the legendary Dutch team that revolutionized the sport with their total football philosophy. Cruyff won three Ballon d'Or awards that span over the course of four years, from 1971 to 1974, scored a colossal total of 291 goals in his 520 club appearances, 33 in 48 national appearances, and invented his own soccer move, the Cruyff turn. Cruyff led the Orangi to the finals of the 1974 World Cup at the age of 27, and he was named best player of the tournament even though they lost to West Germany. However, though he was only 31 years old, Cruyff retired from international soccer prior to the 1978 World Cup after an attempted kidnapping of his family. 6. Ferenc Puskas, Hungary Let's be honest here, how fantastic of a footballer was Ferenc Puskas? He's so good, in fact, that he made the number six spot on FIFA's Players of the Century list. The Hungarian forward scored 508 goals in 521 club appearances throughout the span of his career, including 156 with Real Madrid. He scored 84 goals in 85 appearances with the Hungarian national team. He won an Olympic gold medal in 1952, and he led Hungary to the finals of the 1954 World Cup, in which he was named the tournament's best player. Oh, and he scored so many amazing goals that FIFA named the award for World Goal of the Year after him. Unfortunately, despite being heavy favorites, Puskas's Hungarian squad lost in the finals of that 1954 World Cup. It was one of the biggest upsets in World Cup history. 5. Laszlo Kubala Although he didn't win a World Cup, Kubala was voted as Barcelona's greatest ever player in 1999. Now, sure, Kubala might have some stern competition from Lionel Messi now, should the vote be repeated to include more recent players, but we're sure Kubala would still be in the top three in terms of best Barcelona players. His father was of Slovak-Polish origin, and his mother was of Slovak-Hungarian origin. Kubala also moved around a great deal in his life, spending time in Hungary, Slovakia, Switzerland, Spain, and more. Internationally, he represented four different countries, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Spain, and Catalonia. 
He won four La Liga titles with Barcelona and won 19 caps for Spain, scoring 11 goals. He was due to play in the 1962 World Cup for the country, but had to pull out of the squad late due to injury. 4. Duncan Edwards Now, this story is an absolute shame. Had Duncan Edwards not been killed in the Munich air disaster, many people believe he had the potential to have captained England to World Cup success in 1966 rather than Bobby Moore. It must be noted that Edwards was already one of Manchester United's star players when he died at the young age of just 21. Bobby Charlton described him as the only player who made him feel inferior. Edwards was a big man, physically powerful but with a football brain to match and outstanding technical skills. He was one of the most complete players around and had already played 177 games for Manchester United and won 18 caps for England when he died at the tender age of 21. 3. George Best It's a great disappointment that George Best never got to play in a World Cup. Best was certainly a man who was hungry to get his spotlight on the biggest stage, as proven by his form in the 1968 European Cup with Manchester United, and he would certainly have brought some spark to any World Cup he graced, even in a distinctly subpar Northern Ireland squad. Best always had the vision of a combined Northern Ireland and Republic of Ireland squad, which perhaps would have increased his chances. Best, who won the 1968 Ballon d'Or, won only 37 caps for Northern Ireland, and Franz Beckenbauer once described him as, quote, probably the best player who never made it to a major world final. 2. Zico, Brazil Zico never won a Ballon d'Or because he was not European. Zico spent the prime of his career playing in Brazil until 1995. Only Europeans playing on European clubs were eligible. However, that didn't exactly mean Zico wasn't considered one of the world's greats. It is without a doubt that Zico was one of the world's finest footballers. The attacking midfielder scored 52 goals for Brazil in 71 appearances. But it just so happens that his career lined up with the longest title drought in Brazilian soccer history. 24 years between 1970 and 1994, with the 1982 squad ranking as, until this year, the biggest disappointment in Brazilian soccer history. 1. Alfredo Di Stefano Said to be the greatest player to never hold the World Cup, Alfredo Di Stefano's name should certainly be up there with the likes of Puskas, Maradona, Beckenbauer, Pele, and Messi. He is almost certainly the most complete player in the history of the sport, best known for coming deep to get the ball before taking people on and playing a wicked pass. De Stefano was the most vital team member of the legendary Real Madrid squad of the 1950s. Despite coming deep much of the time, De Stefano still managed an incredible 376 goals in 522 games over the course of his career, which makes him the fifth highest scorer in La Liga history and the third in the history of Real Madrid. Born in Argentina, Di Stefano played internationally for Argentina, Colombia, and Spain, and all three consider him to be arguably their country's greatest player ever. Much like Kubala, Di Stefano was named in Spain's squad for the 1962 World Cup, but missed out because of injury. He won the Ballon d'Or twice and was named to the world team of the 20th century. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more Elite Facts.